Redfeather from Grep Hacks. In this Krita video, we will be showing you how to have your text animate downward and how to place yet another curve in your text, as well as create sliding text with different colored background for the text. These Krita examples are just a tad rough around the edges and could use some fine tuning, but this was done in order to shorten the video as well as production time. Open Krita, create a new canvas, go to the Krita toolbox, clicking on the T text tool. Then go to the canvas, drawing a square. Once the text editor appears, type what you would like to say, adjust font size and color, click save, and then close. Once this is done in Krita, grab the text, moving it to where you would like it. Ours being centered. Then go to Layers, Highlight Layer 1. Next, go to the Color Picker and choose a Krita color for your background. Then go to the Toolbox, clicking on the Bucket Fill tool. Then go to the Canvas and click. Once this is done in Krita, go back to Layers, Highlight the vector layer of your text. Right click the vector layer and scroll down to merge with layer below. Now it is time to move to our timeline. And we must decide how long we would like this Krita frame to run and where the next will begin. For this Krita example, and to keep this video as short as I can, I will place my change at frame 3. For a full-blown project, you may need to double or, or even triple this. Right-click on frame 1. Scroll down to Create Duplicate Frame and click. Keep doing this on the credit timeline until you reach the frame you wish to make the change in. Once this is done in Krita, go to the toolbox and click on the rectangular selection tool. Then go to the canvas, draw a box ar around your text, then go back to the toolbox, clicking on the Transform Layer or Selection tool. Then click on Tools and Options. In the Tools and Options, to the right, click on the Mesh tool. Notice how the Krita Mesh tool on our canvas has plenty of adjustable lines and, as some like to call them, nods, although they look like dots. We will be using this Krita Mesh tool to create the visual aspect that may occur to a falling item like wind or a gravity pull. So on the Krita canvas, we will place a slight curve as our text will be dropping downward. Once this is done, go to the Krita title bar, click on Select, and scroll down to Deselect, and click. Once this is done in Krita, go back to the toolbox and click on the bucket Fill tool. Go back to the canvas, clicking upon any area 
that needs to be refilled due to the adjustment made by the mesh tool. Then, then, on the credit timeline, right-clicking in the next frame, scroll down to Duplicate Clip until you reach the next frame to change, ours being 6. Next, go back to the credit toolbox, clicking once again on the Rectangular Selection Tool. Go to the canvas, drawing a box around the text. Go back to the toolbox, clicking on the Move Tool. Then on the Credit Canvas, grab your text, moving it where you would like it, ours being straight down. Now, let us turn on our onion skin. Notice you can see our text that was not moved. Next, go to the credit title bar. Go to select and click. Scroll down to deselect and click. Once this is done, let us turn the onion skin off. Then go back to the credit toolbox. Click on the paint bucket tool, go to the canvas, filling in any areas needed. Go back to the credit timeline, right clicking on the next frame. Keep doing this until you reach the next credit frame that will be your next uh, adjustment. Then go back to the credit toolbox, once again clicking on the rectangular selection tool, Go to the canvas, drawing a box around the text. Go back to the toolbox, clicking on the transform layer or selection tool. Then click on tools and options. Go over to the mesh tool and click. Then on our credit canvas, for this example, we will be stopping our text drop. So, we will use the same mesh tool to straighten our text. Once this is done in Krita, go to Select on the title bar and deselect the text. Go to the toolbox, clicking on the bucket tool, going to the canvas, filling any areas on the canvas needed. This time, we will only duplicate one frame on our credit timeline. So as we can use the mesh tool in the tools and options to create a motion for the text moving to the right. Once this is done, deselect your credit text Click on the Bucket Fill tool in the toolbox. Go to the canvas, filling any areas needed. For this credit example, I will use this frame as my last, and I will move it to the right, and then give it a playback. So as you can see, it function. Next, for this credit tutorial, we will be using still text. Although we will show you how to put a curve in the text utilizing the mesh tool. Notice I have done some prep work. I have developed the text and merged them to layer one. Also notice I am utilizing a circle created by the ellipse tool in the toolbox. This can be removed afterwards if you wish. Go to the credit toolbox, click on the rectangular selection tool. Go to the canvas, drawing a square around the text to be adjusted. Go back to the toolbox, clicking on the 
Transform Layer or Selection Tool. Then go to Tools and Options. Click on the Krita Mesh Tool. Then go to the Canvas. Go to any of the nods or lines moving or pulling and or pushing the Krita text into the shape you desire. Ours being curved to the ellipse. This Krita procedure could take a few minutes to get it right. And remember, it is called mesh, so do not be surprised if a wrinkle-like look appears, although this can be easily corrected by readjusting. Once this is done, go to the title bar, click on Select, scroll down to Deselect, and click. Now we will resize our other text and place it within our ellipse circle. In order to do this, go to the Krita Toolbox. Click on the Rectangular Selection Tool. Go to the canvas, drawing a box around the text. Go to the Toolbox. Click on the Move Tool. Move the text to the ellipse. Go back to the Toolbox, clicking on the Krita Transform Layer or Selection Tool. Grab an edge, making the text smaller. But notice what happened. If this happens to you, go to the title bar, click Edit, click Undo. Keep doing this until the text has dropped back down to its original position. Once this is done, with the rectangular selection box still around our Krita text in the toolbox, click on Transform Layer or Selection Tool. Go to the canvas, clicking on the text so as the Transform Tool lines appear. Grab the edge, shrinking the text to the size that will fit into the circle on the Krita Canvas. Once this is done with the Move tool, move the text inside the ellipse. Then, with the Transform la a Layer or Selection tool, make final adjustments to the text. Then go to the Krita title bar, clicking on the Select, and scroll down to Deselect, and click. Then, go back to the Krita Toolbox, choosing a color for the background using the Bucket Fill tool on the canvas. Place your color, filling in all necessary areas. The inside of the Krita ellipse or circle, if you will, can be a different color if you like. Once done and you're happy, you can render this as a PNG or use it further on the timeline. Next, in this Krita tutorial, we will show you how to take your created text, animate it so it scrolls across the canvas with a different background for the text per position. Once you have created your text and chose your background color and merged the, your vector layer to layer 1, go to the toolbox and click on the rectangular selection tool. Then to the canvas, drawing a square around the text. Once this is done in Krita, go back to the toolbox, clicking on the color picker, choosing it the color background for your text. Then in the toolbox, click on the bucket fill tool, 
Then on the canvas, clicking inside the box of the text and filling all areas needed. Then go to the title bar and deselect the text. Once this is done in Krita, it is time to work with our timeline. On the timeline, create enough duplicate frames until you reach the frame where you would like the text to change. Once this is done, with the frame to change highlighted, go back to the toolbox, clicking the rectangular tool. Once again, on the canvas, draw a box around your text. Going back to the Krita toolbox, choosing a new color for your background color of the text from the color picker and then placing your new text background color on the canvas. Then go back to the credit toolbox clicking on the move tool. Moving your text on the canvas to its new position. Next, go to the title bar, deselecting the text. Go back to the Krita toolbox in the color picker. Choose the color you had chosen for, your, for the background of layer one. Then click on the bucket fill tool. Then to the canvas, filling areas needed. To avoid any color clashing, you could choose to change the Krita text background to white and then place the new color. Keep repeating this process until you have placed your text to its final position. Once this is done and you are happy, you can then render your credit animation. I hope you have enjoyed this credit tutorial and found it helpful in some fashion. And if so, then why not give this video a like? And while you're at it, why not become a subscriber? And ring that bell in order to be notified your way of newly released videos. <laughs> I mean, ladies and gentlemen, after all, it is free. The intro and extra of this video has been provided by none other than Alex Abayu1. Thank you in advance. I am out. Mm -hmm.